suckers. It is Friday, August 2nd, 2019. This is the Bulldog MJ Podcast. I am your host, the King of Villains, Bulldog Malenko, and this is 30 Minutes of Mayhem. First, let me just... How the fuck is it August already? Like, what the fuck? Where the fuck is this year gone? It's craziness, right? Anybody else feeling that? Like... Look, I get it, man. Sometimes, you know, time seems to go by a little bit quick or, you know, escape from you. But fuck, man. Like, seven months are down already? It's almost fucking Halloween, people. Which I'm super fucking pumped for. Anyway, let's get to this fucking shit circus. Gag on it, Glinda. What is the best way, excuse, you have ever called out of work with? Oh. Um... Shit. The best excuse I've ever used to get out of work. Uh, Oh, I mean, there was one time which, I mean, basically this was me quitting this job. But I I called and said, hey, I'm not going to be there today because I'm going to Holiday World (laughs) with my friends. Which I hated that job anyway. And I didn't really give a fuck. And I already had another job lined up. But... All I told him was I wasn't going to be there that day because I was going to Holiday World. <laughs> and the manager was like, um, what? I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be there today because I'm going to Holiday World. For those of you that don't know, Holiday World is this big amusement park that we have here in southern Indiana. And yeah, that was, it was well worth it. It was a good time. That was a long time ago, though. But, you know, I kind of wonder, like, when I post this up, If you people, you know, you people listening, go to the Bulldog Unchained podcast page on Facebook. Comment below and tell me some of the funny ways that you've called into work or excuses you've used to get out of work. Because I I love shit like that. That's hilarious. And never underestimate the human's ability to be creative. Uh, AJ, would you fight a midget? fight them to hold them down and fuck them god i love midgets <laughs> um i mean how how do you really fight a midget like they can't reach your face to punch you even i mean i granted i mean i guess he could punch me in the junk but even then like you can you put your hand on their head and you, they just swing and kick at the air and everybody laughs and they don't really do any damage you know, <laughs> I'll stick a midget's head up my ass and he can fight for air. <laughs> Fuck. I love midgets. I need a midget. Like, I just, I need a midget sidekick. Where's Ricky? I actually have a friend named Ricky. And I, look, Ricky, I've always called you a midget. And I swear to God, if you get pissed off at me for calling you a midget, I will kick you right in your midget balls. I don't give a fuck because we're boys. But I have a friend who is actually a dwarf, and his name's Ricky, and he's fucking great. Like, this dude's hilarious. I miss him. I haven't seen him for a long time, but I used to get super drunk at one of the bars that we hung out at. Well, it was the nightclub here in Evansville that I used to get, you know, we used to all hang out at. And I'd get too drunk, and I would chase him around the bar. (laughs) I'd be be yelling at him, come here, little midget. And he would get pissed off at me and scream, Bulldog, you're not fucking me. And... Yeah, that was uh that's pretty much the epitome of our friendship. Like that's the that's the beginning and end of it right there. That's what it all encompasses. It, eventually, I'm going to get drunk and I'm going to chase him. And he's quick too, man. He's a fast little fucker. You'd think, man, with with his short legs, he ain't going to get away, but he's quick. He can he can go. Uh AJ also asks, if you had to fuck a 600-pound woman or be put on death row, what would your last meal be? I I Look, I'm not saying that I couldn't fuck a 600 pound woman. I mean, look, I'm I'm 390. Okay, I'm just I'm just another person shy of her. I'll I'll bang it out. Whatever. I'll I'll fight through them folds and and rolls. I'll get there eventually. I don't know if I got enough dick to get there, but fuck it, I'll fuck them rolls. I don't give a fuck. You don't know how I live my life. I'm determined i have perseverance my friends um <laughs> I know there's a lot of you people like 
I bet he has fucked a 600 pound woman before. I don't know. Maybe I fucking I don't weigh them before I bang them. I don't I don't do that. It's not a fucking cattle auction or something like that. I don't need to know the weight. I just need to know she's cute as fuck and if she's gonna like you know if she's gonna treat me right. So yeah, whatever. It's all good. Come on, six hundred pounder, bring it to me. <laughs> I'll be your two thirds man. Although I don't I mean, like I said, if I gotta fuck a roll, I gotta fuck a roll, right? I'm a dude. I've fucked fruit. It doesn't matter. And any of you guys listening that are, I know that like the women are probably laughing like, what the fuck? The guys are laughing like, yeah, yeah. Or couch cushions or whatever the fuck you could get a hold of when you were younger. It doesn't matter to us. We'll stick that thing anywhere. As long as it achieves the desired end result. Gag on it. Glenda asked, what would you do if George Clooney said just the tip? Just for a moment, for a hundred thousand dollars. Well, then, I mean, I assume we're talking about my asshole, right? I mean, what a hundred grand's a hundred grand. Everybody can say, "Oh, I, I wouldn't do it." You a fucking liar! You a liar! Just a tip. Now, I mean, George Clooney, if he gets overzealous and he just rams it in there, George Clooney gonna get knocked the fuck out, and then he's gonna get way more than the tip, and I'm gonna take his money. Like George Clooney, don't fuck with me, sir. Like we used to be friends, but you will get savagely ass fucked and relieved of your hundred thousand dollars, buddy. Don't test me. King of villains for a reason. Cause I'm gonna get that paper. AJ. Zuckerberg hates us all, so why did we all turn on Tom? He was our friend. Man, I've seen this a lot in the past couple of years. Tom Tom literally tried to give us the world. And if you go back and you look at MySpace and the layout of MySpace, how you could customize your page and make it personal to you and all this, everybody sold out Tom for this basic bitch, Mark Zuckerberg, and, it, and his basic ass fucking facebook design that now there is no there's no personalization there nobody you, nobody when they go to your page oh what do you got a cover photo you got a cover photo along with your profile picture well whoop de fucking do oh my god mine at one point i had this fucking what i called my villain bot 9000 this big ass mechanical fucking spider mech would drop down in the center of the screen and walk up to the middle of the screen and roar and then he would follow your mouse around wherever you were getting like moving around get ready to click it was cool as shit and after he would roar music would play good music that i picked it's uh i i miss my space and if you remember we didn't ha i don't know how my space is now i don't know maybe they got all kinds of fucked up rules like facebook although i would assume if they want to fucking throw which as far as I know, Tom sold MySpace a long time ago, I'm pretty sure. Um, so it doesn't really matter. But I, we need something else. We got. I need the fucking outlaw Wild West again for internet. Like, fuck Twitter. Twitter's too goddamn left-leaning and liberal and PC. Okay, I can post a woman shoving her fist inside of her asshole, but you can't call somebody a cunt on Twitter without getting banned. Get the fuck out of here. Are you serious? You fucking liberal waterhead fucks. Jesus Christ. I bet you people wear helmets and knee pads and elbow pads just to walk outside of your house. You fucking nerfed up bitches. We've softened. Joe Rogan said this best in one of his specials. And I'm probably going to butcher it a little bit, but I'll put my own goddamn. But we've nerfed all the fucking sharp ass edges of the world. And these idiots are getting to survive and thrive. And it's not conducive to our society. Fuck, man. Why did we all turn on Tom? Tom was so good to us. Tom gave us the world, and we gave up the world for a fucking a, a shitty, a shitty inner city playground that half of the shit's rusted out and broken. People get put in fucking jail all the goddamn time for stupid shit. Stupid shit. One of my friends referred to himself as being Jewish. And caught a Facebook ban. 
Get the fuck out of here. Fix your goddamn algorithm or take the algorithm away, you lazy fucks. Police it yourselves. And why the fuck can't I see titties on Facebook? We I used to be in secret groups, secret groups where these women, like the women in the groups, would post up like videos and pictures of themselves, and it was fucking great. And I mean, you know, the guys could if they wanted to, but man, it was fucking awesome. The goddamn Wild West. And I don't care. Yes, I know we have free porn. I get that. But it is always way better to see people you know naked than like a woman that you ain't never going to meet. It's, it's way cooler to see someone you know naked. Way cooler. Even if you don't really want to see them naked, you kind of want to see them naked. I get it. That's why I made my profile picture what it is for all of you fucks. That are on my friends list anyway. I know that you like my sweet ass. It is fucking glorious. I get it. I got a cute ass for a fat man. For those of you that don't know. I mean if you manage to find my. Like you know for you and my audience. That are not friends of mine. You don't personally know me. I Look if you manage to find. My actual profile on Facebook. I promise when you see my profile picture. You're going to be like this motherfucker. I love him. And it's it's that's fair. You should love me and adore me. <sighs> Poor Tom. God damn it. Why I wish I wish I had the the resources and the knowledge to build a fucking platform and just call it the Savage Lands. That's all it would be. Like, oh, did someone hurt your feelings? Well, either develop leather tough skin or have less feelings. I don't give a fuck. I don't want to hear about it. I'm Irv. I don't want to fucking hear it. You don't know Irv, but it don't matter. Irv doesn't want to fucking hear it. Also, speaking of that, it's hot as balls in my house because the goddamn AC went out. And that fucking motor isn't going to be here until Monday. Holy shit, people. At least I'm in the dungeon where it's a little bit cooler because I'm surrounded by like five feet of ground. Woot. Okay. Jimmy. If I were to learn a clutch song on guitar to have you sing along to, which should I work on? Oh, dude. That's... So, my favorite clutch song is In the Wake of the Swollen Goat. That's probably my just absolute favorite. However, one that I can play on guitar and I love is Ghoul Wrangler. I learned the whole goddamn thing, even the solo. I love it. It's fucking great. But yeah, it's clutch. I can pretty much sing anything clutch. Like it doesn't it doesn't matter. You do it. I tell you what, man, you do it. You figure out a song and we'll we'll fucking do this. And we'll make a video of it. And it don't matter how how good or bad it is, we'll put that bitch up online and people can either love it or hate it. It don't matter they if they hate it, they can just kiss our asses with their tongues out, right? Word. Gag on it, Glenda. Thoughts on Rammstein kissing each other on stage in Russia. Uh, I haven't heard about this, but okay, whatever. I mean, it's 2019, first of all. I don't understand why anybody's been out of shape about that shit anymore. But secondly, I, I haven't been, like, since I got out of my teenage years, I don't give a fuck if dudes kiss. And, like, people are like, I just don't want to see it. Well, there's 359 other degrees that you can spin your fucking head around and not look at them, you fucking perv. What, you don't want to see it because you're afraid you're going to get aroused, right? That's like, I don't I don't care. If Till, man, Till can kiss and love any man he wants. Just keep putting out badass music. That's all I give a fuck about. I don't care if he sucked a dick on stage. I could not give a fuck less. I'd be, if I were in the crowd, I would start chanting, suck that dick, suck that dick. I don't give a fuck. That's me. You know me. I'm savage. I don't fucking care. It ain't my dick and it ain't my mouth. So whatever they're doing, they have fun with it. They probably did it just to, to prove a point and kind of, you know, be assholes about something. That's fine too. I don't give a fuck. I don't understand though why people would be all up in arms about that. I'm like, who gives a shit? I mean, unless somebody's holding you down, like a, like if you're a guy and a guy's trying to hold you down and kiss you, I mean, I mean, then I can see you getting upset about it, maybe. Or maybe you just need to let it happen and come to terms with those feelings. I don't know. <laughs> Fuck. Whatever. It doesn't matter. 
None of this shit matters. Rammstein kissing each other on stage in Russia. That would be kind of fun. I mean, I'm just I'm thinking about it more. That would be kind of funny to be in a Russian concert crowd <laughs> just to see if they like got super upset about it. Like <laughs> just all of a sudden the whole crowd turns and on them and there's just a whole bunch of mad motherfuckers. I don't know though. It's whatever. Whatever. Jimmy, should we use crowdfunding to help us get the guitars we are drooling over? Brother, okay, so let me explain to you people. Jimmy is one of my personal friends. And he sent me this picture of this like deep aqua blue Fender Strat that he wants. And it's gorgeous. And and it's like 680 bucks, I think. Cause that ain't bad. That ain't bad. Uh, for my Fender Strat, my Jimi Hendrix Monterey Edition, I paid 900 for that. And it's worth every goddamn penny. That's the guitar I play the most out of my guitars. And then I, yesterday, played this Candy Apple Red Gretsch Streamliner with a Bigsby Vibrato Bridge. Oh, my God. And that guitar is only $550, but it might as well be a million because $550 for me is just... I don't, that, that'd probably take me, like, a year to be able to save up and put back at this point it's just insanity but goddamn the i i have to have a gretch in my guitar arsenal i have to i have to have a fucking gretch guitar and it has to have a bigsby i just recently start i i didn't even know that i could play this but i just recently started playing psycho billy and if you're listening to this and you don't know what psycho billy is go oh my god i'll give you one of the best songs you can look up Look up The Meteors, Psycho for Your Love. Oh, my God, dude. Like, there, there's Rockabilly, like the Brian Setzer, and then there's Psycho Billy, and it's just a little bit harder and a little bit faster, and it's just, oh, my God. And The Meteors, they're my, they, they're my favorite Psycho Billy group anyway. I came home the other day, and I adjusted the tone on my pedals and on my amp, and, and I just started playing and i was like holy shit i could play psycho billy this is fucking nuts and i wrote this whole brand new riff in like 15 minutes and i recorded it and i sent it to a couple people and everybody loved it and so yeah which i love playing blues anyway so blues and psycho billy and rockabilly not that far apart anyway so yes but as far as using crowdfunding to get the guitars i mean that might work for you these these people don't give a fuck about what i want they couldn't give a shit less. I could put that crowdfunding up, and they'd probably be, <laughs> they would end up being $35. Actually, it'd be like $37.50. That's that's what would sit in that crowdfunding until the, the crowdfunding.com or whatever, .org or whatever, until they finally shut down my campaign. And then they would refund those people their money. That's what would happen if I did that. So it might work for you, me, I'm just I'm ready to sell a kidney at this point. Like I got I got two of them. I don't need the other one. I don't really, you know, I'm 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 okay to it. Like I'm ready to sell a kidney and just get some stuff. I'm probably about to I'm I'm actually probably going to sell off a majority of my pop figure collection so that I can actually get the Gretsch that I want, which isn't the streamliner. I want this Gretsch Electromatic Center Block. I want the orange one. Oh my god, it's fucking beautiful. Jimmy, when you listen to this, you look that up, okay? Gretsch Electromatic with the Bigsby, but it's center block so that it prevents all the feedback and shit, and it is orange. Oh my god, dude, it is gorgeous. Okay. Anyway, uh, if anybody would like to donate, you know, that, that guitar is uh $800 if anybody would love to just buy me a guitar holy fucking shit that would be insane that's just that's nutty but I would love you forever like just that I need that guitar real fucking bad uh Jimmy also asked how long do you think it will take before people realize the media and government are fucking us do you think the people will revolt or just lay there and take it like the medicated dogs we are well, this kind of throws back to AJ's question about why did we turn on Tom? 
I used to make blog posts on fucking MySpace about this shit, about how the media was controlling everything you saw and heard, and the government was responsible for controlling the narrative that they put out. And nobody wanted to fucking listen. Nobody, And we're talking, this is like 2006 when I was posting this shit. 2005, 2006. I'm writing blogs about this. Nobody fucking cared. Nobody cared. Nobody cared, Jimmy. All right, it's 2019. And people... Right now, like you said, the medicated dogs that we are. Everybody wants to bitch about it. Nobody wants to do anything. How are we going to have a revolt? We can't get people to get organized against the government, but supposedly there's going to be, what, a million people to show up in the Nevada desert to get gunned down by the U.S. Air Force and Army when they try to storm Area 51? Fuckers. That ain't happening. I'm kind of anxious to see what happens. I just want to see... I just want to see... A couple thousand people just run out into that desert and get vaporized and just turn into dust and they become part of the landscape and just see the rest of them stay on the other side of the fence. And they're like, oh, okay, y'all are serious then. Well, never mind. Keep your secrets. <laughs> but no, I mean, eventually, the, the only way, the only way that there will ever be a true revolt is the same way it's ever happened in any civilization that's ever existed. The government or those in power have to push the people to the breaking point. We Americans, we have too many comforts intact still. The the fact that I can sit here and record this show and you guys can all download and listen to it, this is a comfort. This is just a it's a fun thing that we have. This is this is what we do. We have comforts, okay? And everybody's going to just stay in their fucking lane. They're going to go to work. They're going to get paid a menial wage for sacrificing time out of their lives to acquire things that they want that bring them comfort, but don't actually enrich their lives. You know what I mean? Like, it's. I honestly, I think they've drugged our food and our drink too to make us more sedated. Like, I honestly, I, I feel like they have. But, that being said, how am I ever going to prove that, right? It's just another conspiracy theory, and I'm just a nut. Doesn't matter. Ah, gag on it, Glenda. Would you rather eat a hundred-year egg or a balut egg? I don't know what the fuck a balut egg is, but it... I don't know. A hundred-year egg? Like, are you talking about a hundred-year-old egg? No thanks. Just shoot me in the face, please. I'll I'll take a bullet. Oh my God, a hundred year old egg or a balloon. Hold on. You know what? I'll just, I'll go ahead and do this. I'm probably going to regret it though, right? I'm going to fucking Google this shit. Uh, what the fuck's a balloon egg? Oh, Jesus. Balut is a developing bird embryo that is boiled and eaten from the shell. It originated from and is commonly sold as street food in the Philippines. Uh, hold on. Okay, goddammit. Now, we have a very large Filipino audience, but I need to ask you people, what is going on? What's this balut shit about? Huh? You need to let me know. Is this some good shit? Because I'm a fat kid. Am I missing out here? I don't need a hundred-year-old egg, but I'll eat some fucking bird in some egg. I don't, I'm looking at the pictures, and I'm like, yeah, fuck it. I'll eat it. Uh, the, tag- the, the Tagalog and Malay word, balut, or balut, means wrapped okay right on i mean look i'll i'll fucking do that i don't give a fuck i'm a savage shit i thought this was gonna be some kind of nasty shit i'm gonna eat that goddamn bird anyway right it don't matter i'll eat the fucking beak and the feet i don't give a shit you can't fuck with me i'm a goddamn savage i'm hungry like the wolf baby so yes to answer a balut egg i'll i will eat that uh, Jimmy, if guys could change the flavor of their one-eyed love lava. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Fuck. One-eyed love lava. That's amazing. What do you think women would request as a top flavor? Ranch? Fireball? Iced coffee? I mean, look. You said fireball. I'm pretty sure that I could get... I, I could find a bunch of women that would be on board with that. Imagine that your dick is just a dispenser for fireball. <laughs> you couldn't keep people off of it. 
Oh my god, you would die from dehydration. You would just be drained of all of your fucking juices all the time. It'd be over. Especially if it had alcohol in it. Holy shit. Um, I would think, too, you know, like chocolate would probably be a big factor in there. I don't know. Um, Zimmy. How well do you think AEW will do once they get on TV in October? For those of you that don't know, that's All Elite Wrestling. I am fucking pumped for this, okay? I'm super fucking excited. I am ready. WWE only has one goddamn good thing going on in it, and I haven't even... Oh, excuse me. Got a hiccup. I haven't even watched in like... Well, no, that's not... I watched last week or this week. I watched this week, but I hadn't watched for like two weeks prior to that. It, it's... It's uh that's Bray Wyatt. And the Wyatt like and the Firefly Funhouse and the Fiend, that's the good, one good thing they got going for him. And I give them 3 months before they fuck it up all to hell and he gets buried and this character gets completely ruined. Like all of it's done. Meanwhile, All Elite Wrestling, they ain't really got to have like off the wall characters and shit, man. They let their dudes get in the ring and fucking flat out go. It's it's amazing. I am super fucking pumped for AEW. Like, as for, to be on TV every week. And then for us to get these monthly pay-per-views going. Fuck yeah, man. Let's do this shit. I'm so excited. Gag on it, Glenda. Have you ever made a clone of Willie? Also, why isn't that available to purchase as merch to support your show? I'm assuming you're talking about making a cast of my dick like a mold of my dick for members of my audience to purchase to pleasure themselves <laughs> so, so they can go fuck themselves with my dick what is with you people huh why is everybody after my dong what the fuck you freaks Goddamn gag on it glenda i mean look it ain't long but it's kind of thick i mean you might gag on it i don't know but i'm just <laughs> that's weird why do you want this? I don't understand. What <laughs> is this a is this a thing that other other members of my audience want? Like is this a is this an avenue that I need to go down to explore to make revenue for this show and possibly get my guitar? Cause hey, if it if it's the different if it means like I, I get to get that Gretsch guitar that I want, I'll sell you a mold of my dick all goddamn day, every day. 25-8, okay? Make no mistakes about it. Like, I, mm, yep. Gag on it, Glenda. Should priests and nuns be allowed to get married and have sex? Well, I mean, legally, they are allowed to. They just follow a dumbass fucking religion that says that they can't. I don't understand it. How the fuck can you not serve your God and and not butt-diddle little boys? You know, like, do whatever you need to do. Like, I don't even give a fuck if, if a priest is gay. Get with another gay priest. What's the fucking problem? I don't understand why so many goddamn pedophiles end up in the Catholic Church. How the fuck is that happening? Are they not screening at all? Do they just take anybody? Whew, man. These motherfuckers need to... I don't know. But yeah, no, they, they should be... They should be allowed to, to be married and have sex. And why not? It's... Oh my God! Drop some of these fucking archaic beliefs. Jeez, you, you're following bullshit that was written by people that had to write by fire and dipping a fucking feather in animal blood. Probably it. You goddamn savages! Not even good savages. You idiots. Jimmy, where are the damn sponsors, brother? That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Where are the damn sponsors? These motherfuckers. Ain't nobody calling. Ain't nobody trying to get up on this show to advertise their shit. Probably because they've listened to an episode or three and they were like, fuck that guy. Jason, I'm making music with dance, drum beats, metal guitars, and pop vocals. Should I use a real bass or a program of synth? I think that you could mix it up. Like one track, actually use a bass and then the other one, have wah, 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 wah. yeah, you can do the synth shit. Why not, right? It's your shit. Do what the fuck you want with it, man. Have fun. 
Uh, Jason, again, if I wrote an original song, would you write lyrics and record vocals for it? I mean, dude, if I hear, if I hear something that grabs me musically, yeah, I can write lyrics all fucking day. Like, I got plenty of shit going on in my head. I can write songs all fucking day, dude. And uh, you know I love to sing. So, yeah, that's not, that's not a, that's not a stretch for me, man. I would totally do that. We still need to record the goddamn acoustic version of Happy that we did. I know that we got part of it, but I wasn't really happy with how that turned out because, <laughs> ironically, haha, <laughs> the little pun there, happy. I wasn't happy with it. Uh, anyway, a couple years ago, well, yeah, like five years ago, me and Jason, we uh, we came up with an acoustic version of Happy by Mudvayne. It was fucking sweet, but we just didn't get a chance to actually get it recorded. Oh, well, maybe we can someday. Jew boy, why do we park in driveways and drive on parkways? I'm not even answering that, you fuck. What's wrong with you? Ugh, crazy ass. I don't know. Why the fuck do we? How come, how come your fingers have fingertips, but your toes don't have toe tips? But you can't, you can't tip finger, but you can tip toe. What the fuck is that all about? Hmm? Wrap your mind around that one, brother. All right, last question. Samuel, hope I'm not too late resubmitting a question from last time. Do you think vampires and werewolves are exclusive, exclusively human phenomena, or are there dwarvish werewolves and elvish vamps and shit? Samuel, you're, you're crazy, man. God damn it. For those of you that don't know, Samuel is my buddy with autism. And this motherfucker is, he comes up with some funny ass questions sometimes because he's just, I love the way your brain works though, man. The, but there would have to be, right? I mean, look, if, if werewolves and vampires exist, then we got to start assuming that dwarves and elves exist. And we have to assume that they are susceptible to this bullshit too. Man, could you imagine like a vampire elf coming after you? That's twice as scary. That's just way more fucked up. Or like a werewolf dwarf? A dwarf wolf? <laughs> a were-dwarf? I don't know what you call him, but it'd be really fucking hairy, wouldn't it? <laughs> it'd probably look like those things off the movie Critters. <laughs> God damn it. All right. I'm into overtime. I gave you people 33 plus minutes of mayhem this week. I'm done. It's fucking hot. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here alright so I'll be back on Sunday with the main show everybody have a good weekend try not to die oh yeah uh, I am the king of villains Bulldog Malenko this is Bulldog Unchained Podcast and this has been 30 Minutes of Mayhem uh, 